we're going to be looking at the root mean square speed or the RMS speed of gas particles. Gas particles move randomly at different speeds and so in all directions, so their average velocity is zero. That's not very useful. So we use root mean square speed because it relates to the average kinetic energy of the gas particles. To determine the RMS speed, we first need to take the square of the speeds of each individual gas particle. So in this case, we have n particles, all at different speeds, and we square them. The next step to do is to take the mean, the average of the square speeds for all the gas particles. And this term is called the mean square speed. And then finally, to get the RMS speed, we square root the mean square speed. The RMS speed is the speed that corresponds to the average kinetic energy of the gas particles. And we know the average kinetic energy is directly proportional to the absolute temperature of the gas particles. And we also know it, it's equal to a half m c squared in this case, where the c squared is the mean square speed of the gas particles. So the root mean square speed is directly proportional to the square root of the absolute temperature. For this question, we need to use this relationship of RMS speed directly proportional to the square root of absolute temperature. We need to determine the ratio of the temperature, which would be 300 divided by 273. And if we take the square root of that ratio, we get the ratio of the RMS speed. So to determine the new RMS speed, we times that ratio by the 1.3 kilometers per second, which will give us the new RMS speed as 1.36 kilometers per second. The Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution is a statistical model showing the probability of a gas particle having a certain speed at a given temperature. The peak is the mode, the most probable speed, the most common speed that the gas particles will have. And the RMS speed is above the modal speed. If the gas is at a higher temperature, then we see that there's a larger range of speeds, and that is the distribution is more spread out. And that's because the area under the graph is equal to the total number of gas particles, which is constant, and so the area for both the curves should be the same. Also, at a higher temperature, the most probable speed and the RMS speed are larger.